Hi, everyone. I'm curator Lisa D'Amico, and I am so excited to be speaking to Joan Park about her piece Tilly G, which is in the Color of Nature exhibit hosted by Inside Small. Joan, Tilly G is really a spectacular piece. Thank Tell you. Tell me, I, is, is this, is it really like the subject? Is there really a Tilly G? Uh, yes, there is. Um, Tilly G the tortoise is uh, a tortoise that I follow on Instagram. And she's this happy-go-lucky tortoise that was adopted by a family, um, I'm, I believe in the Southwest. And um, she's part of a, uh, a family of little dogs, small dogs that play with her. And uh, they're so fun to watch. She's such a happy-go-lucky tortoise. And um, she loves hibiscus. She yeah. loves to eat hibiscus. So uh, that was my inspiration. I can actually show you a photograph if you're interested. Yeah, that'd be great. Um, because you, the, your depiction of Tilly G is almost photographic. It is so, so masterful. It's really, your your technique is really spectacular. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, let's see, can you see this? I can. Oh my okay. gosh, that is, for everyone listening, please see Joan's piece in Inside Small. It'll also be included in this video. Um, that's incredible. Thank you. Um, yeah, I just, I was really struck by her when uh, when I saw her eating that hibiscus. I said, I have to paint that. <laughs> and the color, the the neutrals of of her the tortoise against the the vibrancy of that of that hibiscus is it's it's beautiful thank you and you really do such an incredible job of capturing it um tell me about your technique do you do any preliminary drawings how do you work on how did you work on tilly j well i do i do a preliminary drawing and um i decided to do this one in uh watercolor and gouache um, and I don't really have any formal training in painting, but um, it's just in the last five years or so that I've been painting more. Um, I was trained as a, a jewelry designer. Uh, so I've designed for uh, manufacturers and um, retailers for my career. And um, I learned to paint and gouache there, uh, but I never really applied it to art. So, um, I started painting with that. And then I also use other mediums. I use um, uh, acrylics, uh, colored pencils, uh, pastels, and a little bit of oil. So I like to dabble in a little bit of everything, but watercolor and gouache is what I mostly use. Joan, I cannot believe that you created this piece with watercolor and gouache. You get such detail out of these materials that just in general can be a struggle with with the fluidity of, of these materials. You know, it doesn't lend itself to such incredible detail. Oh, thank you. I, uh, well, I, I'm used to painting very small with jewelry design. Uh, so it was not that hard for me to paint at this scale. Um, so it, painting larger is more of a challenge to me, um, but uh, I really enjoyed doing this. When you um, select a subject um, to, to recreate in your artwork, is there a general, like, do you lean towards wildlife, nature? Like, what is your inspiration in general? Um, I'm kind of a, a very eclectic. <laughs> I, I do um, architecture. Um, I do fantasy pieces. Um, I do, sometimes I'll do acrylic pours and embellish them, just whatever I see in the uh, acrylic pour, I might uh, paint something into it. Just, um, I, I like to dabble in everything. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. You know, I, I'm i already a fan of your work. And now that I hear about really the different layers that you work at in diversity, I can't wait to see more of your work. And I recommend that everybody follows you and, of course, see Tilly G in the exhibit, but just to see more of your work is uh, is that it will be an absolute treat. And I will make sure to include that in this um, posting of this video of this interview, so that people can understand 
can understand my excitement. And they'll also be able to understand why um, you're one of the award winners from the exhibit. This piece is genuinely spectacular and I can see why the juror selected it. Joan? Thank you so much, that's kind of you. It's been so much fun talking to you. Is there anything that I haven't covered or anything you'd like to include? I don't believe so, but uh, it's been a pleasure speaking to you also. Oh, thank you. I appreciate you. it. And I appreciate the award. Thank you so much. Oh, terrific. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you.